Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Friday update for the last day of June. And we've got this big storm brewing in the Southern Ocean and around New Zealand. It then tapers off next week with high pressure rolling in. So we've got the forecast for you into next week. Let's have a look though for Friday. Low pressure to our east and to our southeast. This is all deepening and getting bigger over the coming days and it's not moving very fast as well. There's a big block of high pressure over in Western Australia that's slowly drifting eastwards but it's going to take until Wednesday of next week before it reaches New Zealand and shuts down this big windy wintry southerly that's about to come in. On the animated wind map today we're showing you temperatures so blue is below zero. You can see this sort of surge of colder air coming towards New Zealand off Antarctica. So this is cold stuff heading in and the lower half of the South Island is going to feel it the most but also the southeastern corner of Australia is just getting brushed by it too with these very windy southwesters and some snow uh, expected up on the mountains. So here we are on Saturday, colder as I say just a bit of cold weather brushing Tasmania although that high is trying to move in and it should clear things up by Saturday morning. By lunchtime here over in New Zealand Pretty wintry weather over the South Island, snow flurries now forming to lower levels around Southland and Queenstown. Keep up to date with the latest Met Service warnings and watches, you can find all of them on our website. Uh, windy westerlies for the North Island won't be quite as cold for you to begin with, but that colder air does come up um, overnight Saturday and into Sunday. But for the Saturday itself, showers coming off the Tasman, some of them quite heavy. Now as we get into Sunday, this is when we're most likely to have the coldest air around the country. That colder air goes all the way up to the top of New Zealand basically and snow flurries around Southland and potentially down to sea level or close to it, including Otago Peninsula and Dunedin. But mostly dry skies further northwards there. So Canterbury, yes, you might get a few flurries, but generally speaking, it's actually drier than average for you over the next week and drier than average for these eastern areas as well. So plenty of showers along the western side and the south, but drier inland and out to the east. Now, a cold night on Sunday night. This is the, uh, the numbers you see on screen of the overnight lows. The shading is how much colder it is compared to usual. And what it's showing you is all of New Zealand, there isn't any exception, is colder than average on Sunday night. So it's gonna be a cold one on Sunday night, although as you can see, double digits for some in the north. It's not exactly brutal. Now, as we get into Monday morning, it is a cold start to the day. It's a wintry day across New Zealand. Showers are mostly in the west and still down here in Southland. Long dry spells though, out there in the east, and that big high from Australia moves further out into the Tasman Sea. And so by Tuesday, that high is close enough now to start to push most of the showers off New Zealand. There'll still be a few small lingering ones up the western coastline, right into Auckland and Northland, mostly dry though, and still a bit showery around uh, Southland. But by Wednesday of next week, that high is basically pushing in, and so by Wednesday night, and Thursday night and Friday morning, we do expect frosty weather to be fairly widespread for a time around New Zealand. But then the next system comes in with more wind and rain, and the first week uh, of July, as you see, is, a, is going to settle down, but going into the first weekend, or the second weekend, I should say, the second weekend of July, does look a little more unsettled again. Hopefully a more calming weather pattern starting to show up in August. Um, as El Nino gets closer to being announced. But we're gonna have more details about that on Monday in our next Climate Watch update. So we'll see you then. Have a great weekend.